Hey everyone. I know it's been a while since my last video, just been busy with things, so I'm sort of just getting back into it now. Um, I want to try a little something different for this video and um, just talk about some uh, video game stores here in the city of Toronto. Um, I'm going to be talking about just uh, used video game stores or stores that um, have uh, large selections of uh, used video games and more so um, older titles uh, for older systems than um, any recent ones. So the first store that I'm going to talk about is one store that most people in Toronto that are gamers should know about already and that's ANC Games at uh, Spadina and Bloor. Um, it's a store for the person who knows what they want and doesn't mind spending the money to get it. Uh, they'll have just about everything you want, uh, and then some, and even have multiple copies of whatever it is that you want, um, but you really have to pay for it there. Um, there are some things that you can find uh, cheaper at other places, uh, and then sometimes it just, it, it really bothers me to see the prices that they have for some things. Like, one example, I traded in a game, um, they told me all that they could give me back is $7 for the game, and then they put it for sale for $30. I thought, okay, fine, well, I know they have to make money back on it, but from $7 to $30, that's just too big of a leap. And the thing, too, was that the game was uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES, and... I've seen completely in-box uh, copies of the game uh, for sale for $30. And to have just cartridge-only uh, copies for $30, I thought that was just a little too high. And it's not just with this game, but I find a lot of games at, at that store um, are priced higher than you might find them at other places. Games, accessories, and consoles. Um, the other place that I was going to mention is a store called uh, Game Shack. It's at the atrium on the bay, uh, just uh, north of the Eden Center. It's a really small store. It's more of a sort of kiosk uh, situation. They have a pretty large selection of games. Um, a few older games like they do have some Dreamcast and some older cartridge based games um, but they have a pretty large selection of the last generation uh, console games so PS2, GameCube, uh, Xbox they'll, uh, they have like a large selection of those games um, and a lot of recent games but very few games any older than that um, the prices are okay, and they have a couple of uh, good deals, like PS2 games they have, uh, buy one, get one, 50% uh, off, and I thought, like, that's an okay enough deal. Um, but still, it, it, it didn't seem like they were really there to uh, create a long-lasting uh, relationship with uh, a customer base. Uh, more so like they're, they're just there to serve whatever customer comes along and then get them out of the store quickly and try to move on to the next customer. Another store that I'm going to talk about, well, another store that I will be talking about right now is um, a Video Game Center or Game Center. There's a couple different locations across the city. Uh, the one that I go to the most is the one on the Danforth. But then there's also two uh, two different locations close to Young and Bloor, and another location somewhere on Saint Clair. But I'm not uh, too familiar with that one. Um, I found that they have had good deals in the past, and years and years ago, you could find games uh, for older consoles really, really cheap there. Uh, but in the last few years, prices have gone up. Um, depending on which location you go to, uh, I found that they are willing to uh, call their other locations and check to see if they have something that you're looking for there. Um, 
and possibly bring it out to that store that's closer to you or whichever store you prefer um, so you can buy that product. Uh, I have found that at the Young and Bloor location, it's a pretty small store, but they do have a large variety of, uh, of games, and the prices aren't too bad. Like, you can still find a couple games um, under $10 that are actually worth the price, or even um, worth a little bit more than they're uh, priced for. Uh, so, I have had a couple good finds come out of uh, that store, but for the most part it's just been uh, buying uh, sort of uh, recent games, uh, either used or just uh, recent games from a couple years ago, so older PS3 games like Assassin's Creed, uh, they have brand new copies for $10, and um, I found that that's what the store is best for, uh, finding new copies of games that are only a few years old for really cheap, like 10 to 20 bucks. So if you're looking for that, definitely go to uh, Game Center. Another store that I've been to only twice is um, Gamerama. It's just uh, north of Young and, Young and Eglinton, uh, just above the... Uh, sorry, it's just below an EB Games, and it's about two blocks north of uh, the subway station there. Um, I found there they were more concerned with uh, repairs uh, on uh, tablets and uh, game consoles and cell phones and stuff like that. And most of their games there that I saw were either clear out sports games um, or overpriced uh, popular games. Uh, they did have older games, and I did go to look at some Dreamcast games, but the condition wasn't that great, and the selection was very small. They had only, like, six Dreamcast games. Um, the price was fine. They were just $10 each, um, but I bought four of them, and I pretty much nearly cleared them out of their entire Dreamcast selection. But... I just didn't get a good feel from the store. It seemed more so like even the customers that do go to that store just go in to take a look or to get something repaired. Um, so I wouldn't really suggest that place to uh, that many people. Another store that I went to just recently, uh, in fact I've only been there twice now, uh, is a store called uh, high-tech video games at uh, Bloor and Dufferin, about a block um, a block east of uh, the subway station and just uh, across the street from a Popeye's, so it's easy to sort of uh, locate it. Um, my problem with that store, though, was that the sort of uh, atmosphere in the store wasn't that great. Um, it really had a rank smell and it sort of distracted me too much and I couldn't really pay attention to uh, what they had to offer. I did see that they had a really good deal for uh, used games. They said um, they were buy four and you get three games for free um, on any title uh, that's uh, priced at $14.99 or less. Uh, but from what I saw all the games that they had for say even $9.99 and less were sports titles and even the sports titles were um, overpriced compared to other stores like they had all the uh, NHL and NBA uh, PS2 games for $6.99 and I thought that was just a little high for uh, what they were what I, couldn't, what I really couldn't get past though in that store was that um, a lot of the games, the quality wasn't that great, and the mix of low quality uh, games and, uh, like I said, the rank smell in the store just sort of pushed me out of there. I tried going back, like I said, a second time, but it just, I couldn't get past it, and I just left quickly 
didn't buy anything from them. Uh, what I got from other customers was that um, they are okay with uh, putting things on hold uh, if you really want to purchase it and they don't ask for any money down or anything and they're even willing to look out for a specific title that you're looking for um, so I thought that was pretty nice but yeah I just I, I couldn't get past the small smelly store that it was um, another store that uh, I've been to that I've actually come to enjoy is a store called Game Mania uh, it's right at the corner of uh, Bloor and Keel. Uh, it's at a fairly easy location to get to. It's like pretty much right outside the subway station. Um, so you don't have far to go if you're just jumping into the subway and going off somewhere. I found that they have the best prices of any used video game store in Toronto. Um, not to say that it's cheap, they definitely have some higher priced games, uh, but the prices are worth uh, the game that you're buying. Like, you're not going to find a, a good quality Zelda game for under $30, $40. So, to find them for about 40 bucks, 40 to 50 bucks, it's expected, um, but they do have a large selection of games that you can buy uh, for pretty cheap, especially um, strange uh, game accessories like uh, the Tony Hawk uh, skateboard accessory for the Xbox 360, or the the uh, the bongo drums for the uh, Donkey Konga games um, for the. GameCube, they, they have all these strange controllers, and at other stores I've seen them way overpriced, and here at Game uh, at Game Mania I've seen them very very well priced and in pretty much uh, perfect condition. Um, I've bought a few consoles from them too, and I haven't had any real problems. Um, I bought a Sega Genesis and a Sega Dreamcast from them, uh, and with my Dreamcast, because they're sort of uh, known for having not the best uh, uh, laser disc reader uh, inside them, uh, they were sort of um, okay with uh, doing repairs or getting a replacement one if I ever had uh, a problem with it. I know there's probably some time limit to it, but it was still nice that uh, after two weeks um, I could still get sort of a good service on it. Um, but yeah, even if, if I had to uh, sort of pay for a repair or uh, go get a replacement, it doesn't seem like it'll be that big of an issue. And um, even to pay for repairs and stuff like that, I'd be willing to do that. Um, they have a very sort of a good atmosphere to the store. Uh, it's very um, low pressure. You don't have someone there uh, sort of pressuring you to uh, make a purchase. And uh, they are... Uh, like okay with you just looking around taking a look at at all the different things they have to offer and I found it to be a pretty good experience now I could say some bad things but the the only bad thing I could really say is if you're in uh, a hurry to uh, pick up a specific game or accessory uh, they might be out of it and they will eventually get more but if you're like that person who wants something and they want it now um, I guess too bad uh, but I haven't had any real problem like I mean they've been 
really good so far, and it's definitely a go-to store if you're uh, looking to buy used games in Toronto. Um, it's further west uh, than any of the other stores that I've mentioned, and uh, further out of the downtown core, um, more so like uh, Gamerama, uh, that's up at uh, Young and Eglinton, but there's still it's still really close to the subway, so it's not that big of an issue uh, to get to the store. Um, another quick place I'm just going to mention is a sort of a small used bookstore um, that also sells games and uh, DVDs and a couple other things. Uh, it's down on uh, 28, about 2800 uh, Lakeshore Drive uh, in Etobicoke. Uh, if you really want to get there, uh, your best bet is going to Islington Station and taking the bus that goes south until you hit Lakeshore, and then it's about a block east of there. They have a small selection of stuff. Uh, the prices are okay. I'm not too familiar with the name of the store because I found them through an ad on Kijiji, and it was sort of an interesting experience, but it is out of the way compared to all the other stores that I mentioned. But by far, your best bet is going to um, Game Mania. They have, by far, some of the best prices, best uh, customer experience, I guess. Um, they have great people working there. Uh, they're very helpful, and they know what they're talking about. So out of all the stores in Toronto, like I said... Uh, Game Mania will have a little bit of everything for you, um, and good customer service. Uh, ANC Games will have everything that you want and multiples of it. Uh, if you're really in the hurry and really in a hurry and you're looking to buy something at that moment, uh, but like I said, you are going to really pay for it. Um, and all the other stores have just been sort of a, a hit or miss, not that good, um, not too focused on games, or even getting uh, good quality games, and they're sort of just uh, ignorable in the end. So, like I said, Game Mania, ANC, they're both your two uh, go-to stores, um, and yep, that's it. So, if you like this video and you saw it all the way through, I know it's a little bit long, but um, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, then maybe I'll make a couple more videos talking about um, store experiences in Toronto for DVDs, uh, random electronics, um, or even maybe experience at Apple stores and stuff like that. Anyways, yep, that was it. See ya.